It just sounds like loading. I <laughs> know, <laughs> like, like you can see the little. <laughs> Hello again. So we now have Ashley who is going to be doing her makeup, but her- Hello, it is I again. So I recorded this video with Ashley before I edited the Oasis video for one of my solo makeup videos. And so I was not aware of the sound issue with the microphone when I recorded with Ashley. So there is some buzzing in the background on this one also, um, but I tried to fix it as much as I could because I obviously can't cut the sound on this because you know it was an interview with her so you may hear some buzzing occasionally sorry if that is annoying you i tried my best hope you still enjoy the video so what we're going to do first of all i'm having to use primer potion what i do is i just dab on the primer mm -hmm. right and then i rub it in with the fingers so can you go ahead now that you have it on there can you rub it with your finger on either eye my eyes are very small my eyelids because i have really bad headed eyes. My grandma, she's like, what, 95 now? So when she has her eyes open, her eyelids almost go over her eyes. <laughs> well, Hannah and Riley, um, they brought palettes that they wanted me to use. With Ashley, I, when I texted her, she's like, I actually don't care. So I told her, go look at my desk and choose a palette. Mm -hmm. And so she chose one of my favorites, um, the Naked Heat. And the thing is, even though it's one of my favorites, I don't actually get to use it very often because I don't very often wear these colors. But I've read that peachy and like brown tones are actually really good, really good for brown eyes. Uh, I'm going to start by just covering the entire eye area with not the lightest shade in the palette. It's called Chaser, it's the second lightest. I'm gonna reserve the lightest so I can do her inner eye with it um, because I'm gonna to try to keep to one palette. Both her and Hannah are very extroverted and entertaining in that sense and you are very much an introvert mm -hmm. um which okay i kind of i go back and forth on it because i'm very extroverted i'm the same way so it's it's i had this conversation with my mom, with my mom. it's it called an ambervert okay and it's in the middle so it's like you're extroverted when you have to be so for like school you have to be extroverted and yeah by the end of it i'm like i just need to go inside of a dark exactly. room and not talk to anyone the rest of the day so i can be very introverted i'm going to do above the crease with this like Brown that's also kind of looking like an oh, you aren't kidding about the small real estate. Mm -hmm. I'll do with mine. I do at least like three color blends, but I can't do that with you because you have a small, small. area. Yeah, I so eyes. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna blend instead of going up with you I'm gonna blend this way. So then I I also can be very much like I need that moment at the end of the day to just shut down mm -hmm. and not have to like socialize or anything. And so what's funny is, like, I don't even want to think about things, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't want a show with plot. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I'll, I'll put on YouTube videos. Or like the random, office, or yeah, friends or, or something. Like, I know the stories and I don't have to think about things. Yeah. And just have it on in the background while my brain just literally, like, I sit there and, like, reset from the day. Have you been exhausted in the last two days having to be at school? Yeah. I've come home. We haven't done anything. We just sat there the entire yeah. time. I did absolutely nothing. But I, but I came home so exhausted. Right. And I think it's the mental thing. I think it's the having to communicate and socialize with everyone that makes you just physically in line. It's, it's the, hi, how are you doing? Where you so have glad to, to be see nice. You. And then it's like. <laughs> okay. I should have earlier. Somebody said, should I wash my hair? Well, maybe I'll do that right now. Making those people cry and making them comfortable. 100%. Yeah. Like, I try to be empathetic sometimes, but you know, like, I don't cry. I can't. I can't understand people who are criers. Mm -hmm. I have three shimmers here. Which one are you loving the most? Either that one or that one. I kind of really like this. Mm -hmm. And you blend it to yeah. this. I feel like we could do a nice blend with those two. Yeah. Even with my poopy brown eyes, that looks pretty. You have poopy brown eyes? I have dark, dark, dark eyes. I've had people ask me if I have black eyes before. Because <gasps> they're dark. For some reason, I was thinking Guy Fieri when you said that. But I fucking hate that. That's a picture in my mind. All I see is like a bleached head guy running through the woods. I think he was clothed. <laughs> it was, sir, were you clothed? I'm pretty sure I had clothes on. Naked and afraid is when they're naked and they're afraid. <laughs> well, it looks like I've been on like a drug bender for like days on end. So I know I said I didn't want to go to another palette, but I want to do a little bit of gold right yeah. in the middle. And there are no golds in this. I think fireplace cuddles. 
fireplace pillows. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I want the gold to stand out, okay, I am going to do um, cut crease style. I probably shouldn't call it cut crease because I guarantee I'm gonna mess it up a little bit and it's gonna end up being like a much crease. Okay. My cousin, who is an angel, she's really good at makeup, she took me to, I think it was Ulta or Sephora, one of those, because she used to work at a makeup store. Yeah. And she had to walk me through the process Can you hold this? of putting on bronzer and applying foundation. This is like four years ago, five years ago. I didn't know how to do it. Oh. I knew how to apply foundation, but I had no idea how to do bronzer. Like, like color match everything, yeah. And so I'm pretty, can you hold this as well? Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> I need you to do a makeup tutorial with tiny hands. <gasps> oh, wouldn't that be so great? They're out of stock right now on Amazon, but they're coming back in stock, I think, this week. Which is sad that I know that. <laughs> I just want tiny hands. You never know when you're going to need them. And then I'm taking the brush with the um, gold that I have also set with setting spray so that it will show up more, right? Um, like it looks almost like a little bonfire, like the way you like sparks will go up a little bit. Tiny hands. Oh, tiny hands, yes. Um, I kind of get creeped out by them. Really? So you can't bring them to school? Would you get creeped out if I brought them? I mean, I would probably, but then within two minutes I'd be using them because they're <laughs> hilarious. Also, Ashley has been urging me to do the wipe, wipe, but then also, wipe. Wipe, wipe it down. Wipe. I can't <laughs> wink. That's the reason I don't want to do well, it. I, I don't know how to wink. Nick always is like, "Are you blinking? Are you closing your eyes? Are you having <laughs> his issues?" <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, though. This side looks so sharp and amazing, and this one over here looks all smudged and not amazing. I can feel the eyeshadow falling. I know. It's because I have such a heavy touch. No, I legit just did a better job on this eye than this eye setting it. Because over here, a lot of it's Ooh, smudged. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. And over there, it's not smudged. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to smudge out that side over there. Oh, shit. Don't open your eye for a second. Give it a second to um, dry. And then I'm going to go back over it again. Because I feel like I can make it a teensy little bit thicker. It looks okay, but it does look amazing. Do you always do eyes first before the face? Always. Because the thing is, like I said, I have a really heavy hand, so you can see there's a lot of fallout beneath. Yeah. Okay, so lashes are going to come last at the end. I'm going to put a little bit in your hand, and I want you to just rub it on the back of your other hand so you can see what it feels like. Right? It's like a baby's butt. <laughs> what is that? It's, uh, okay, it's Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. Oh, so bright it tickles. It just a. <laughs> it's a it, that, I like that's this one because it's like it, um, you can build up on it. Yeah, I'm noticing that like immediately. Like if I wanted to put more layers mm -hmm. here, I could. Can you look up? I'm gonna do right under your jawline. Okay, you have like a super sharp jawline, which I love. I love but the your thing jaw. about my face is that straight on pictures, I look like a Lego head. <laughs> I, my face is so like square, and then, especially when I smile, they call me a Lego head. <laughs> He's like your damn Lego head. Honestly, you and Nick are goals. When you got married, mm -hmm. and um, I don't think I've seen pictures of your wedding. Mm -hmm. um, did you did you hire someone to come do your makeup? Did you do your own makeup? Um, I was going to do my own makeup. I had someone for my hair, and then she also did makeup. She brought her own makeup. Because your um, foundation is so liquidy, mm -hmm. um, I feel like I need to put on an equally liquidy concealer. So this oh, is... Oh, I used to have that. The It? The Fit? Yeah, Maybelline New York Fit Me. Yeah, I used to have that. I used all of it up. I loved it. It's fantastic. It's, um... And I was kind of surprised at how much I liked it. So this is 11 Vanilla, but I always tend to go lighter mm -hmm. on concealer because I also use it as a bit of like a highlighter. I'm going to be highlighting on your eyes. I'm going to do a little bit on your chin. I'm going to go up the bridge of your nose, and I know that that was not a straight line. So we're going to start there, and then I'm going to blend out a little bit. I'm going to use the wand to spread out the under eye a little bit. Okay, and then tip of the nose. Keep oh, I didn't know 
Uh, 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 it no, helps create like a little button nose because yeah. you can see already how it's kind of like creating that illusion in the camera. I feel like I kind of want to create a little bit more of an angle mm -hmm. with your, because right now the eyeshadow is kind of going like this and then down mm -hmm. and this and then down. I kind of want to do like just a straight down. I am creating a line with your eyeshadow mm -hmm. because I didn't like the way it was rounded out there. Mm -hmm. It looked kind of a little weird to me. So I'm just blending it to a straight line, kind of like what I have here. Because mm -hmm. if you look, like that's what I did with mine. Um, nice. So, because you see how much of a difference it makes yeah. in creating your eye shape. Great, it lifts it up a little bit. Yes, my watch face changed. I made a joke and changed his, his face to my watch face. I love it. There you go. What a hunk. Why do you say it's so calm? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, by the way. More <laughs> <Before> warning. <laughs> danger! Danger! <laughs> Um, so now we are going to give dimension to the face. Ooh, with dimension. Printer. The Twilight Zone. <laughs> you already have such a great, like, you have this great line here of, like, mm -hmm. here's your cheek, here's under it. So I'm not going to do very dark on that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do the jawline. I have a scent to it. It's chocolate. It smells good. Yeah, it's, um... Too Faced Milk Chocolate. I'm going to do your forehead. I'm actually going to take your forehead down a little further. Mm -hmm. Are you saying I have a forehead? A foot? Five head? A five head? <laughs> I didn't want to say that. But can you put this hair behind your ear as well? Thank you. Okay. And then I'm also going to do... Um, the forehead in the temple. You already have a great nose. You have a very amazing nose because you have this very tight bridge here mm -hmm. that kind of lends itself perfectly. Tight bridge. But now that I'm doing this whole YouTube thing, I'm like, I might as well embrace the life for this whole like month that I have time to do it. I don't know if you're supposed to put your contour on before the rest of your makeup or after the rest of your makeup. Contouring is a very dangerous game. If the men find out we can shape shift, they're going to tell the church. Next step, we're going to do a little bit of bronzer. Typically, I tend to only do bronzer on my cheeks. You're going to get bronzer on the forehead, the outer cheek. That also smells good. Yes. Does it smell? It's coconut. Tarte and Too Faced have some great scented stuff. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit down the bridge of your nose to make it look like you got some sun. Like this? Yes. I just want to live inside of it. Live? Like crawl inside of this. Oh! Uh! What do you usually use for blush? I use the orange shade. Is that like normal for people to use eyeshadow as blush? I have no idea. I do it because I discovered that it's a little trick I could use so I didn't have to go buy blush and I just never stopped. So then blushes do tend to be somewhat shimmery so it's not like I don't just use eyeshadow. I grab some highlighter. Mm -hmm. um, can you smell for me? I was like... <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, it is super glowy. This one is super luminous. I have other Highlighters, I have like four highlighters that I go back and forth between, depending on, because you can see my highlighter today is actually more of a streak than a boom. Mm -hmm. You're just saying a bunch of words that I don't understand. And for me, it's super important because I don't actually have cheekbones. I do, but, uh, you know, they're covered by the fat. Um, Smile again. My yoke just a little bit. There's like a line there that I'm trying to get rid of specifically. Use like I said, like I have a few different. So I also go down the bridge of the nose over the concealer that we did there earlier. Tip of the nose here, because that makes it look like a cute little button. And then I do right above the cupid's bow. And it will help with that minimizing the forehead appearance. I'm so sorry, you probably didn't even care about your forehead before today. <laughs> oh my god damn! You're gonna leave here with like I'm supposed to be helping you feel amazing about yourself. <laughs> and you're going to leave here like, I have a seven head. I need to reduce my forehead. Do you want to do my eyebrows? Mm-hmm. Because I don't have any. This is Goof Proof Brow Pencil by um, Benefit. A little bit thicker. 
little bit thicker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you look and see if those are even to you? Or if I need to do more one or the other? No, they look good. Okay. Um, I know this looks good. Right? I mean, I'm like, here's the thing. Um, I am never going to be like a James Charles who can give that snatch nose, but I don't think a lot of people like having that snatch nose for every day. Like, it's something that's very definitely like a model thing mm -hmm. or like a YouTuber thing, and that's not what people want from day to day. Um, so when I do when I do noses, I tend to keep it pretty like non-pointy, not snatch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To do her uh, under arch, I just use more of the highlighter, which her highlighter was eliminated. So then now we're gonna do the lashes. Which then for her we got Ardell Wispies in the Dummy Wispies Black, and um, they are not too long, and they have a little bit of a nice like growth to them. They don't grow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how do I say this? You have to water them every night. <laughs> we need to cut off a little bit on the inside, otherwise this is gonna poke the shit out of your inner corner. Mm -hmm. That's why I, why I pulled them off because I don't know how to cut them. Um, you know what though? I kind of go back and forth on it. Like some days I do. These are actually cut like two lashes in. Mm -hmm. Um, and then some days I don't. Like I want that full like starting here going way out here, so I won't. Since we took Lucy, because Luna has only known ever ever known just Lucy there. You know, she's ever known like a house without another dog. And so when I took her this morning to the vet, she cried. Nick told me that she cried the entire time I was gone. And then Nick told me an hour ago that she's still at the garage door crying. Well, I want you to hold them and blow on the um, band mm -hmm. for about, I think I've been talking for about 10 seconds, so about 15 like seconds that? or so. Yep. What does that do? It helps the glue get tacky. Now we'll push it up with your finger. Okay. That's going to that's gonna um, push your lashes in and mix them in with the false lashes. It's crazy how much of a difference they do. Right? That's so sweet about your dogs, though. Um, were they, how did you get your dogs? So Lucy, we got her 10 years ago, almost 11 years ago, when Nick and I were dating within six months. Do not get dogs with your significant other like I did after six months. I mean, it worked out, but you never know if it's going to work out or not. And we actually found her on Craigslist and drove to this really sketchy part of Phoenix, picked her up when she was way too young. And now she has all these like issues with her. Well, now we got her two years ago. I feel like you had just gotten her when I met you. I know, and she's two now. I got Pinto right before I started working at the school. Mm -hmm. um, did I ever tell you how I got him? Mm -mm. I was there with my friend, and she told me beforehand, she's like, don't let me get a dog. And I was like, okay, same, don't let me get a dog. She's like, okay. And then um, she was like, look, I gotta leave. I have a birthday party I have to go to. I was like, oh, okay. And I said, I'm going to leave in like 10 minutes. She's like, yeah, don't get a dog. He's like, I'm not going to get a dog. And then I texted her like 10 minutes later. I was like, look what I got. <laughs> and it was Pinto. He was really old. And like all the other people were looking at all the other dogs. And Pinto was just like sitting there all sad. But then I have since realized he's always sad. Really? <laughs> like that's just his norm look. Mm -hmm. Like he tricked me. I was like, look at this sad doggo. And it was just his normal. How old was he when you got him? 10. And so now he's 12. Gosh. He scared me. Did you feel like my hand like flinched on your eye? Oh girl. Look at those lashes. It's crazy how much it like. How much it changes? Okay. It's, 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 okay. Wow. What? You look amazing. Oh. Did I mess it up? No, 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 no. You look amazing. Okay. <laughs> when I was younger, I had a lot of little frizzy curly oh, baby hair. All this. Right here. Right? And I used to cut them off. Did you I really? <gasps> Me too. And, they, and so there were like I did. bald patches mm -hmm. all along here. <laughs> and I, I was like, I ain't got the baby hairs no more. I think I used cayenne. And then other side. It tickles. And then I know at one point I did he devil or something. Yes, I did. There we go. That's the name of the color. He devil. He devil. Oh yeah. Okay. And then on the inside, I'm gonna do a very white. I'm gonna do that chaser color. 
and I'm gonna blend a little bit with salt. Your inner corner, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do ounce. Really? They obviously should have consulted with me before they named their colors. Obviously. This is on them really. On this one. Um, now with this one, I'm not sure why this little bit of color right in the inner corner makes your eyes look more open. However, I do know the effect. I learned the effectiveness of it from Harry Potter. What? Because when Emma Watson goes to the uh, ball, on her ball, yeah, she has inner corner. She has just the inner corner done really pretty, but it like it brightened up her eyes so much. Just I don't know. Even if you have a bunch of makeup mm -hmm. on, it still just helps like pop a little bit. For lips, um. I am going to use the nude from Ulta Beauty, first mm -hmm. of all, because it happens to be what is hot here on my table. And second of all, because I think that a nude lip would look great with this. I just stamped it on the inside of my arm. I was trying to read. I really want to line your top lip because you have a thinner top lip. Your bottom lip is fantastic. It's like a perfect, but I have perfect no one. I do have a lip liner. So I did just sharpen it. This is an all new lip. Just lining your top lip. And I'm actually going to line a little above your lip because that's the way we will get like a fuller top lip because I need to fix this little smudge over here. Okay. I look like I have lips now. So then with the brush, we're just going to fill it in, which this is a nude color. So this isn't going to be very dark at all. Um, I know this is so weird. <laughs> I am literally like resting my <laughs> arm on top of her head so I can balance this across. Um, Kylie Jenner who? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, girl. Do you want to try to put this I on that side? You can. You are an art teacher. This is a brush. On my lip? Literally just paint your lip with it. I try to blend it some to make that smudge go away. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to do more of the liner over that. I think it looks amazing. That's from crazy this how much your lip shape changes your face. You look amazing right now. I hope you know that. I'm most excited about this whole corona shit to be over with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Because no one can go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. No one can come here. For vacation? Yeah. Okay, so here we have the finished product and she looks amazing. Thank you. She <laughs> is absolutely flawless. Um, and so I had so much fun doing your makeup. Well, thank, thank you, you for being my makeup. Yeah, yeah, thank you for being in my video. So I'll say sure. something to all your friends who will log on just to see Ashley. Hey guys, I have lips now. <laughs> it does. I mean, she had them before. Yeah, that's crazy. But lip liner, man. <laughs>